Hello all, welcome to Paraguide video tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create a phone and SMS calling app with native script. So by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create an app that will allow you to make call and SMS with your application through your mobile device. So for that, our first objective would be to use native script phone plugin to make calls and SMS. Our second objective would be to use native script permission plugins to get permission for calls made by the device. Our third objective would be to create a list view that will allow you to perform operations such as making call and SMS through it. So as you can see, this is the app uh, we are going to make in this tutorial. I name it as a caller app. My simulator is up and running. So our elements would be like this. Our first entity would be Sam, which is a male with some dummy phone number. I gave it to him. And these are my actions for call and SMS. So the app would contain n number of users in it. And if I will click on this call button, it will take me directly to the dialer action where the number of automatically is filled of Sam. So, and if you will click on this call button, you will be able to make call to this number. So in this way, you will be able to make call to Sam with your call action. If you will click on this message icon, you will be directly taken to your message center with the number of Sam already selected and send message action. So in this way, you can make an app that will allow you to make call and SMS to your users that are being shown in the list. So our objective would be to create an app like this. So as you can see, if you are familiar with a native script already, this is the basic app I have cloned from Hello World. So in this tutorial, we are going to use two plugins. First is native script permissions plugin to get the permissions of user from the device. And another one is the TNS phone variable that is taken from native script phone plugin. So let me show you the plugin we are using in this tutorial. The first one is native script phone plugin. And you can install the plugin with this command TNS plugin add native script phone. This plugin will allow us to make call and SMS through our device. And the another plugin would be native script permission plugin. So, and you can install the plugin similarly like the previous one TNS plugin add native script permission. This plugin will allow us to get permissions for call. And we are going to use these two plugins in our application. So my application would be like this. I have taken a single variable Android declaring it as an Android for uh, using it to get my permissions from the mobile at runtime. And here are my template URL app.component.html. You can see it here. Here is the UI part of my application. So, so if you will begin our application development, I have taken a single variable profile, which is an array. Now in the constructor section of this, the profile is set to null. And then I have pushed some of the demi data to it, such as name as Sam, mobile number and gender as male. These all the details which I have shown you here is passed to the array element and I have taken some dummy data. You can use your JSON data uh, for, to fill the data in it. Now I have defined two functions here. One is call and another one is message to make call and message respectively. Let's deep dive into the view part of the application. That is the main part. So if we begin our application begin with the first action bar that is the caller app I have defined here as you can see the title as caller app 
and I have provided background color as this that is the somewhat blue color similar to the sky color or something I have taken it and written it in a hex manner now I have put the color of text as white so as you can see the color app is written in white and my background is somewhat blue so this is the definition for my action bar now we have chosen a stack layout to put all of my content of my app in a stack right so now in the stack layout I have taken a grid layout to align my element in a grid fashion inside it I have used the already defined list view that is the component given by the native script itself and I am using it to show my list here now in the list view section I have used a template to design the view of my list view inside it I have taken a grid view to align each element inside it now in the list view I have provided my array profile and breakdown into this profile variable so now if you can see in my this profile variable if I have to access this name or number or gender I would write profile dot name to access the name of the first element in the array so as you can see I have used this variable here profile dot name to access the name of the first element in the array another thing I have used here similarly as for number profile dot number for the number that is being shown here and I am similarly here I am passing this number to my call function and this my message function here in the tap event so now let's look at the app and see how I have designed the app as you can see in this section I have shown an image that is of male because since Sam is a male I have put an image of male here and the case of female that is Amelia that is a female so I have shown a female image here so if we go to app resources folder I have put two images one is female and another one is male here so I am using these images based on the data I have here so I have also given a parameter gender as male or female here so I am categorizing my data based on these two variables so I am similarly I am using these two images for two different data so if you go to our uh, view section I have taken a grid layout with two rows and four columns if you will go to our app this app this image you are showing here would be the first column I have taken another column would be the SAM and mobile number right and third column would be this call button and the fourth column would be this message one so our four columns would be two star six star star and star that is so the in this way this layout is designed I have also taken two rows one is two star and another one is star two star for the name that is being shown here which is a big entity here and the smaller entity would be the mobile number now I have put two image attributes here and I have put a condition of ng if if the gender is male show the image of male here and otherwise if gender is is equal to female then show the images of female in this way I have make a differentiation between the picture that is being shown in the list view so for that image to be shown in a uh, in a fashion of circular I have taken few parameters as border radius is equal to 27 width as 120 pixels and height would be the same so in this way I have shown this circular fashion of the image here that is looking good 
and now after that for the second column i have shown name and mobile number if you look for the name i have given font weight as 700 so to give it as a bolder shape i have given it as 700 for the phone number i have given font weight as 200 font size is 13 and color as gray and text line is left so as to be shown in this fashion now in the second and third column i have used some font styling class let's see what is the font style font style is the font family is of using of font awesome so i am using font awesome here if you can see in the root directory of my project um, i have a folder named fonts with a font awesome web font ttf file so with this file and with this class i am able to use these kind of pictures or these kind of font in my application without using any images so that will that is allowing me to use n number of variables in my application without using images and which is actually quite cool and i would suggest you should also use font awesome to get icons in your application so that it will allow you to create an application that is less in size and font awesome has a rich icon library in it so in this way you can use with this font family as font awesome web font you can use font awesome in your application so now let's back to our view now in this two icons or fonts i have provided two tab functions one is call function and another one is message function and i have provided profile dot number in both the cases so that my number would be passed to my these functions and i have put some style to it such as text align is center or text align is right and font size and i am using these values in a hex fashion these hex value allow me to use this font or some icons in my view so this is the way i have designed my view style here you are seeing it by playing it with around you can create better uis than than this and now let's back to our functions i'm using so in this first function call i'm using permissions that is i'm taking from native script permission library and now this plugin is allowing me to get permissions at runtime from the user so actually i'm taking permissions from android.manifest and this in this way i'm asking permissions app needs this permission to make phone calls if i have permissions i have put a console like got permissions and i am using this tns phone plugin to dial my phone number with it and if not then permission denied so if i will click on this call button i have a console that says got permission so it means i have the permission to make calls to user from my device so in the similar way i have my second function message that doesn't require taking any permission from user and i'm calling tns phone dot sms by passing my phone number to it and making sms through it by clicking it here so if i'm clicking on it it is taking me to my message section with my phone number already there so in this way i can make an app that will allow me to make calls and sms through it so what are the best practices we can use in this application is first one install plugins and follow guideline if you are installing any of the plugin in your application in native script you should all always do the step as first install the plugin then remove the platform and then re-add it by doing this you can be sure whether your plugin is installed or not and then check in your node modules folder for the plugin if the plugin is there then it is installed 
now second using manifest or info.plist for user permission there is one manifest file in your app resources in case of android it is android manifest.xml here you can see there are a lot of user permission section you can put permissions here also and these permission will be automatically be taken by the user when the user install the apps so you can ask for permissions here itself without using the external plugin i am using it so if you will provide the permissions here the permissions will be automatically taken by the user when the user install the apps in the same case of ios also there is another file info.plist here here you can ask for the permission similarly in the case of android third one would be pass relevant phone number to the dialer or sms here as you can see i am using this function tns phone dot dial with args and true some value so if will if i will not pass the correct value to my dialer function it will not make call to the number i am trying it so please make sure you have passed the relevant phone number to your dialer or sms that you are making it a fourth best practice would be using font or some icons instead of images that will allow you to get icons from a single ttf file instead of lots of images you are you will put in your static folder so these are some of the best practices you can use while making an app so what can be done next with this example another thing you can do with this example is access user contacts from your mobile what you can do is like you can access user contacts of your mobile and use this dialer as a way to call app to make calls and sms through the app so you can extend this app in this in that way another thing you can do is perform operations after calls or sms being sent such as you can make logs or you can make another success message or alert or you can call an api after the call or sms being sent another thing you can do is you can cache your images that are you are showing in your list view so in that way you will not consume much of the data that is being shown in the list view and you can actually show the images that are being changed from the server side once you will have these are the static images that are i am showing in this application you can show images from your api side also when you can do caching on the images you are showing there in that way you can have a better memory management with your images in your application another thing you can do is you can do ui improvements by styling your view as you can see i have created a app that is fairly average in looks you can do much better in the app by making some more alignment into the icons or to the text view or to the images you can put more content such as the address of the user or you can put the age or the gender or particular thing you want to add it to the view section if you have missed any of the part of the application that you haven't understand it quite fairly or if you have any request on any particular topic or you want us to make a video tutorial on it you can comment below in the comment section and please subscribe our channel for more videos on native script that's all for tutorial thank you